So what they're asking us to do in this problem is they're asking us to evaluate the expression. All right. So remember, we're trying to evaluate, we're trying to find the value. So we want to say log base 27 of the one third equals what? So we can give that a value of let's say x. All right. Now remember, what we can do is we can rewrite this and say, you know, what exactly does a logarithm, you know, state? What? It, where did we even get with the logarithms? And remember, the reason why we came up with logarithms is we had b raised to the y equals x. Right, which state that log base of, I'm sorry, log base b of x equals y. This is our formal kind of definition of how we have logarithmic and exponential form. So what this is pretty much saying is 27 raised to what power equals 1 third? All right. So let's go and take a look at and see First of all, how we're going to get to this. Um, so first of all, 27 raised to a power. If my, if my power right, is greater than 0, am I going to get numbers that are larger than 27 or are smaller than 27? Larger. Think of like 27 squared, 27 cubed. Those are going to be pretty big numbers, right? So obviously, x cannot be greater than 0. It has to be negative. And one thing, the reason why I know it has to be negative is because remember, when you have a negative exponent, x to the negative m equals 1 over x to the m. Right? So negative is going to make it smaller than 27, right? And it's also going to make it a, uh, an exponent. So we know that x has to be negative. Now let's go and see how can we go from 27 to 3. Because really, let's say we did negative, let's do negative 1, right? Let's pretend x equals negative 1. If x equals negative 1, then we'd have 1 over 27 equals 1 third. But we want to get this to be exactly the same. So how am I going to get 27 to 3? So we know it has to be a negative value. But well, what other value could we? It has to be negative, but is it still going to be greater than? Is it still the absolute value of it going to be greater than 1? Yes. I'm sorry, greater than um, greater than the absolute value? Well, think about it. If it's greater than 1, so, so if it's 27 squared, so let's say it was negative 27 squared. So that means it's 1 over 27 squared equals 1 third. Are those going to equal each other? No. So this number, the absolute value of it, has to be greater than or less than 1. If it's greater than 1, guys, this number is going to get really big in your denominator. So it has to be less than 1. So let's do maybe 1 half. So it, can you take the square root of 27? Um, do you guys need help or anything? OK. So can you take the square root of 27? No, 27 is not a square number, right? How about let's do the cube? Can we take the cube root of 27? Yeah, what's the cube root of 27? 3. So if I say 27 raised to the negative 1 third power, will that give me a positive 1 3 or positive 1 third? Yes, because. 27 raised to the 1 third power equals 1 third. So therefore, in this case, x equals a negative 1 third. I'm sorry. x equals, yeah, x equals a negative 1 third. Basically, we have to guess. Well, you're evaluating. You're finding the value that's going to work for. Just like if I said log base 5 of 25 equals what? 5 raised to what power gives you 25? 2. 27 raised to what power gives you 1 third? Well, it has to be negative, and you have to go from a larger number to a smaller number, so therefore your exponent is going to be less than 1, so it's going to be negative 1 third. Okay? So that was.